sport and charter fishing offer a surprisingly large benefit to the economy. Overall in the US compared to commercial fishing, sport fishing activities had a greater impact on the economy, employed more people, all despite taking far fewer fish. If you look at it as the value generated per pound of fish taken, a pound of fish caught through recreational fishing has 70 times the economic impact than a pound of fish harvested through commercial fishing. Because to support a fishing hobby, we tend to make more transactions. We buy boats and equipment. We go on vacations to exotic places. We pay for travel. We pay for accommodations. And we do other things while we're there. It might not be fair to compare the value of a fish bought in a store with the value of a vacation or a day trip where a fish was caught. But that fishing experience often drives these other transactions. Because for those people who love to fish, Fishing quality can be the most important factor in choosing where they vacation. For example, around 270,000 US tourists fished in Costa Rica in 2009. They spent an average of three to $5,000 per trip, and 40% of them said if they couldn't fish, they wouldn't have come. They would have gone somewhere else. So that quote unquote pound of fish can be a pretty important driver of tourism. Because recreational fishing is about the experience, the management can differ from commercial fishing. With commercial fishing, a big part of it is how much can you harvest to maximize the fish's growth? They want to make sure they can keep harvesting the same amount every year. The fish's growth is sort of based on their current population. With too few fish, there might not be enough fish to grow quickly and or they're getting outcompeted by other species. Too many fish and the fish are competing with one another. Their population has grown as big as it can get. So in theory, the managers want the population to be in this realm somewhere, where the growth is relatively fast and they can get a good harvest every year. But with recreational fishing, it's more about, are there enough fish? Are there enough big fish to give the anglers a good experience? Too few fish or too small of fish, even if the yearly growth rate is relatively high, the anglers might not have a lot of fun and they'll go fishing somewhere else. To recreational fishers may seem like an overfished stock of small fish. So is there anything that can be done to support the sport fishing of valuable species? In Costa Rica, one way they've tried to reduce the conflict between these industries is to try to reduce the bycatch of important species like billfish and sharks. For example, purse seining, using a big round net, is often used for yellowfin tuna, but it catches everything because it's a big round net. But because it was only the foreign ships that used these nets, the government was able to reduce the number of licenses they gave out, reduce their quota, and push them out past the 45 mile limit. It seemed successful, so in 2019, the government pushed for a 60 mile limit, and now fishermen are hoping for the limit to be 200 miles. Another big bycatch culprit is shrimp trawling. Due to the size of shrimp, and the size of the net it takes to catch them. Worldwide, shrimp trawling is responsible for the most bycatch, generally catching far more non-shrimp than shrimp. So in 2013, Costa Rica banned shrimp trawling. Another technique, long lining, often used for yellowfin tuna, also bycatches a number of species. But a fishing technique called green sticking, with a lure that makes it look like there's a squid near the surface, is effective in targeting yellowfin tuna while reducing bycatch. Another issue is training. Because a charter fishing captain is going to make money whether their clients catch any fish or not, a new inexperienced captain might not understand the incentive to monitor or work towards the health of the fish stock. Among other things, they may not engage in proper catch and release procedures. For example, taking a fish out of the water to maybe pose in a photo drastically increases the likelihood of death. So in Costa Rica, all people working on a boat must be trained and certified learning, among other things, safe catch and release practices for charter captains, and the use of green sticking for commercial fishermen. As a result of these and other measures, the sport fishing sector has seen a big boost and the populations of sport fishing species seems to have increased. Maybe because a good chunk of the value captured by recreational fishing is captured by things not directly related to fishing, the benefits might seem invisible. But if this renewable resource is not properly managed, well-being would be lost for communities and the greater economy.